isang mapagpalang umaga po sa ating lahat mga kapatid and I hope na tayo po ay napagpala sa ating pag-aawitan ngayong umaga and um, ngayon po dadako po tayo sa ating pag-aaral ng salita ng Diyos. Mga kapatid, samahan niyo po muna ako sa ating uh, panalangin. Let us ask for the guidance of our Lord as we study His Word today. Let us all pray. Father, we give you praise and honor for this day, O God, that you have given us. Lord, we thank you because you are good and you are God. And Panginoon, patuloy o Diyos na habang ginugunita po namin ang iyong pagliligtas sa amin, ng iyong pagkamatay sa krus ng Kalbaryo, Lord, kami po at the same time is celebrating, O Lord, for your uh, for for your victory, Panginoon, against sin, Panginoon, at Lord, because you have redeemed us, O God. Maraming maraming salamat po for all that you have done for us. Holy Spirit, guide us as we begin to study and to acknowledge your presence today. We thank you, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ngayon po mga kapatid, ang pag-uusapan po natin ay still nakaangkla po sa ano sa ating series ngayon. Um, we have this series called Discipleship, Intensified Discipleship. And what we're gonna talk about right now is from now on, you'll be fishing for people. From now on, you will be fishing for people. So ano nga po bang nakapaloob dito sa pag sinabi natin, from now on, you will be fishing for people no alam naman po natin na uh, yung great commission di ba yung word of god and also yung yung ating pong mga dapat na gawain pero ngayon po may kita natin in this in this and this passage that we will be talking about today on on the lens ano po on the lens of practicality on what is it to become a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, but before we proceed, tayo po ay uh, basahin muna natin. If you have your Bibles with you, I hope you have it there at um, beside you. At basahin po natin in Luke chapter 5 verses 1 to 11. In Luke chapter 5 verses 1 to 11, ano pong sabi rito? One day, as Jesus was preaching on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, the great crowd pressed him to listen to the word of God. He noticed two empty boats at the water's edge, for the fishermen had left them and they were washing their nets. Stepping into one of the boats, Jesus asked Simon, its owner, to put it out into the water. So he sat in the boat and taught the crowds from there. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Now go out where it is deeper and let down your nets to catch some fish. Master, Simon replied, we work hard all last night and didn't catch a thing. Because if you say so, I'll let the, the nets down again. We see the obedience of Simon when he has called Jesus Christ as a master. Let's continue. And, at, and this time, their nets were so full of fish, they began to tear. A shout for help brought their partners in, in the other boat and soon both boats were filled with fish on the verge of sinking. When Simon Peter realized what had happened, he fell to his knees before Jesus and said, O oh Lord, please leave me. I am such a sinful man. For he was awestruck by the number of fish they had caught as were the others with him. His partners James and John, the sons of Zebedee, were also amazed. Jesus replied to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on, you'll be fishing for people. And as soon as they landed, they left everything and followed Jesus. Here's the word of God. Receive it this, mga kapatid. So, may kita, ko po, may kita po natin dito no, sa passage na to. First of all, we can see the scenario that Jesus Christ is um, speaking here. Alam po, may kita niyo po dito that Jesus taught the word of God before calling Simon Peter and commanding him to let down their nets. And may kita niyo rin po that maybe at some point, um, Simon Peter was also hearing the Lord Jesus Christ as he teach doon po sa mga tao, the crowds, the great crowd, no? And in the miracle of Jesus, na ginawa, na ginawa po ni Jesus Christ, Peter and the others, ano po nakita nila? So the Lordship of Jesus Christ over the sea and the fishes. Kaya nga sabi niya, di ba sabi ni Pedro, lumayo ka sa akin, Panginoon, for I am such a sinful man. So, nakita po niya, and even us, while we are reading this, nakita po natin yung Lordship ni Jesus Christ. And then, uh, 
now he gave uh, Simon and Peter and John the duty that yung duty ano po yung duty from now on you will be catching people and they left everything and followed Jesus so we can see a lot of things mga kapatid in this passage but I want us to focus on the last part when they left everything and followed Jesus Christ kasi bakit it is connected to this to discipleship and it is also connected for fishing for people, di ba? So, from time to time, mga kapatid, may kita po natin na of the analogy of being a fisherman and catching for men or for people at may kita natin yung kahalagahan that we, uh, that they had left everything for the Lord Jesus Christ. So, the, I think the tying question would be here is that how this does relate to discipleship at paano natin may kita, paano natin, paano to mag-make sense po sa atin in being a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ, Okay. So without further ado, let's go to the first point. Ang sabi, ang may kita po natin dito is that we must first know the Great Commission. We must first know the Great Commission. Bakit po Great Commission? Eh, wala naman sa passage yun. Because, because you have to remember that when Jesus Christ, okay, before He left or before He ascended into heavens, He gave out a Great Commission. At dun din yung reason, ito rin naman yung pupuntahan na reason kung bakit niya tinawag yung mga first disciples. Kasama na dun si Peter, di ba? Just as Peter knows how to fish, and as a fisherman knows every detail about fishing and what he does, then so a Christian or a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ must know what his purpose is. Okay? And every detail of the Great Commission. We are called we are called, okay? We are called, we are saved to do the Great Commission. At ano po ba yung Great Commission? Ano ba yung binigay ni Jesus Christ na Great Commission? In the book of Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20, Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely, I am with you always to the very end of the age. So, that is, mga kapatid, the Great Commission. Ang sabi doon, and teaching them to obey, to obey everything I have commanded you. So, in our study of the passage of fishing for people, we must know the purpose. Kaya nga po sabi ko nung una, di ba? Um, Jesus, uh, just as Peter knows yung paano siya mangisda, and yung fisherman, alam niya kung every, ano yung every detail about fishing, ganun din dapat tayo. Bilang mga disciples ng ating Panginoong So Kristo, we must also know the very purpose on why we are doing disciples. We are or making disciples rather. Or kailangan din malaman natin, ano ba yung goal? Ano ba yung purpose? Kung bakit tayo ay nagtitrain? Kung bakit tayo ay tinitrain? Di ba? Kung bakit tayo humahayo para sa pagpapahayag ng mabuting balita ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo? We must know the very heart of the gospel. Okay po? And ngayon, ngayong Sunday na to, sineselebrate natin yung kanyang muling pagkabuhay. What is the essence? What is the essence of that uh, particular thing when it comes to discipleship? Diba? Sabi ko nga, we must know the very heart of the gospel. The gospel is the what? The death, the burial, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, we must also know that as a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Because it all, it will all add up when you are able to make sense of the Great Commission. Ano yung Great Commission again? Sabi doon, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching, remember, teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Knowing the Great Commission and taking it by heart enables us to think that it gives our Lord so much joy whenever we tell people about His good news and to not mention that we need to teach them to obey everything He has commanded. When in, in, um, mga kapatid, in our uh, line when it comes to the when it comes to discipleship no that may kita rin natin ito sa passage na binasa natin Jesus Christ I laid out to you the structure earlier diba Jesus Christ was teaching the word Jesus Christ was teaching at that time when he saw Peter so may kita niyo po diba al alam niyo ang sabi ng Biblia diba 
how can they know if na, if no one will be sent? And napakahalaga po ng pagtuturo pagdating sa discipleship. And remember, Jesus Christ was teaching at that time. So, sabi ko, may, iniisip natin, maybe Simon Peter was also hearing this and the other the other first disciples. Kaya tinawag ni Simon Peter, di ba? Sinawag ni Peter si Jesus as master. So, may kita po natin yung the very, yung kailangan ituro yung word. Okay? Kailangan ituro at i- it, um, ilagay natin sa ating mga puso. No po? So, sabi po rito, the very core of the Great Commission is what? It's not going. Okay po? It's not baptizing. But the very core of discipleship is to make. Okay? Uh, sorry. The very core of the Great Commission is to make disciples. Yun po yung pinaka-core ng uh, ng Great Commission. Ito po yung to make disciples. When you say make disciples, it is meaning to say that everything that Jesus have taught, you will be teaching to that person. And everything Jesus have said, you will also be teaching to that person. Kailangan lahat when it comes to when it comes to doctrine, confessions, everything. So, kailangan lahat maituro natin. Kasi bakit? Kasi that will equip them Okay, that will equip them and that will make and that the great commission will make sense para po sa kanila mga kapatid. So, again, the first point is that we must know the great commission. What is the great commission again? Is to go therefore and make disciples. Okay po. So that is the first one. So, let's go now to the second one. Ano po yung second point na gusto kong makita ninyo? Okay? So, the second point would be, we must have the right equipment. Now, kanina, we have noted that we must first know the Great Commission. We must take it by heart. Diba po? Dapat uh, by heart natin alam yung Great Commission, ano yung purpose natin bilang isang Kristiyano. So, now, the second one is that we must have the right equipment. So, ano po ba itong right equipment na to? In our passage na binasa kanina, Peter is a fisherman. Okay? And a fisherman does not only know the details about fishing, but he knows also the stuff na ginagamit po niya. Hindi niya lang alam paano mangisda, pero alam niya din kung ano yung mga dapat gamitin sa pangingisda. So that he will be what? Effective in fishing. So, yung mga yung mga simple things, di ba? Anong gagamitin niyang net? Anong type of bait na gagamitin niya? Ano yung inaalam din niya kung ano yung fish na kanyang uh, na kanyang i-catch? So, we have to remember, no? That it is not enough for us to know the purpose. It, it is not enough also to know the Great Commission. We must also know the tools that was given to us by our Lord Jesus Christ para po ano, Para po ma-fulfill natin yung Great Commission na yan. Ma-fulfill natin yung from now on you will be fishing for people. At ano po yun? So, I'll give you one tool na dapat po ginagamit natin in our, uh, in us bilang isang Kristiyano in our daily life sa Panginoon and even sa, pag, uh, sa pag-disciple po ng mga, uh, ng mga tao. So, what is it? No, bilang isang disciple, kailangan mo rin to. Okay? That is the Word of God. The Word of God, which is also the Bible. Okay? So, it is also known as uh, the Bible itself. So, the Word of God. So, why is it important for us to know bilang, isang, bilang mga disciples ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo to know the Bible itself? Okay? So, a disciple must not only carry a Bible, but must carry the Word of God in his heart. Okay, I want to I want to reiterate that a point po mga kapatid, no. A disciple must not only carry a Bible, but must carry the word in his heart. A disciple must not carry must not only carry a Bible. 'Di ba? Hindi lang dapat bitbit natin, but also bitbit natin kahit wala yung Biblia natin. Alam natin sa puso natin the verses that God uh, has um that God has wrote or that God has written in his words and we have kept it in his heart. Ano pong sabi ng Psalmist? Anong sabi ni David? In Psalm 119 verse 11. Ano pong sabi niya? I have hidden your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. I have hidden your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. 
I remember what I remember um the heart is also um used here as something that is um something na taguan ng memories why because sabi ni uh, sabi ni David dito I have hidden your word in my heart meaning to say he has kept in it is in his heart meaning to say that he has meditated on it day and night that I may not sin against you Okay, some other people would say na ah, kapag hinahid natin yung puso natin sa Panginoon, hindi hindi na tayo magkakasala. That's not the point. Of course, we are human beings, we're not perfect. We are we are making mistakes sa Panginoon. No, we we do sin, okay? But again, yun yung uh, yung essence nitong verse na to is not for you to condemn yourself that you are not perfect kasi nagkasala ka kasi tirinay mo naman yung best mo pero nagkasala ka at hindi mo tinago sa puso mo yung Uh, yung word ng Panginoon no, that's not the point here the point here is that whenever in the times of temptation the times of trouble you will be able to remember the promises of God kaya nga sabi ni David diba, your word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against you yun po yun po yung, yun yung essence ng verse na to yun po yung, yung sinasabi ng verse na to that he may be careful not to sin okay? he may be careful that in times of times na kailangan niyang uh, hugutin yung salita ng Diyos. He's not gonna need any Bibles. Okay? Bilang isang Kristiyano, hindi lagi mong dala ang Biblia mo, remember? So, you have to oh, you have to keep this in your heart that every time na may magtatanong sa iyo tungkol sa Panginoon, so Kristo, you will be able to to tell the scriptures by memory. Alam niyo po yung practice ng mga Jews before is that they know the law, they know the Torah. They know the scriptures by their heart, mga kapatid. At ganun din po, no? Yung, yung dapat na gawin natin mga, mga kristyano, we must also know the scriptures by heart. Okay po? And ano pong sabi ng book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8? Book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. Sabi niya po rito, sabi niya po doon, study this book of instructions continually. Meditate on it day and night so that you will be that you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then, you will prosper and succeed in all you do. We should meditate on it day and night in every day of our lives so that we will be sure to obey it. So, makikita niyo po, sabi po ni Joshua, no, sa kanya pong, uh, sa kanya pong libro, in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, sabi niya po dito, study this book continually instruction sabi niya study this book of instructions continually meaning to say never ending bakit kaya nga continually eh? it should not be ending meaning to say each and every day of our lives we should be able to study it no meditate on it day and night when we say meditate meaning to say we sit we sit on the um, we sit on the word of god we sit with god and hinihimay-himay po natin no yung bawat words ng ating Panginoon and then here's the thing alam niyo po um, in connection with Psalm 119 verse 11 kanina makikita niyo po dito ano sabi ang sabi ng book of Joshua so you will be sure to obey everything written in it you will be sure Why? Because when you know something, then you will be sure that you you are sure that you know it. Then definitely you will be able to know kung tama yung ginagawa mo. So definitely, kung alam natin yung word of God, then definitely we will not sway against it, or we will not sway or tamper the word of God. Why? Because we uh, we know in our hearts and in our minds na ito yung salita ng Dios and this is His what this is His promises and only then sabi po ng verse and only then you will prosper and succeed in everything you do okay in all you do why again if we know the word of god and we we take that as a reality para po sa ating buhay and we live on that um on that promises on that words of our lord then definitely we will succeed in everything we do bakit po kasi po kakasihan ng panginoon yung ating pong mga ginagawa para sa kanya. Then definitely kasi alam remember ganito lang po 'yon. Kung alam natin yung kalooban ng Panginoon, then definitely we know that it's the best for us. Then definitely doon tayo po lalakad. 
ano? So definitely, um, we will succeed in everything we do. And we should meditate on it day and night, in every day of our lives, and we will be sure to obey. Okay? We know the Word of God. We obey, we obey because we love God and we know His words. And then there is a promise of what? There is a promise of success in everything na ating pong gagawin. Ngayon, napakahalaga po mga kapatid, no? Nang malaman natin that this tool will help us as a disciple of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bakit po? Kasi in our lives today, everything that is around us with all the fast information, everything is instant sa ating pong paligid, no? And lalo na po, lalo, kung lalong nagra-rise ang technology, ang science, then definitely, uh, lalo pong nacha-challenge yung faith, lalo nacha-challenge yung Bible to keep up Diba po? and to um to be able to stand in the 21st century yung yung word of god may kita niyo po dito no na um some people would say na ah, ano na yan um, outdated na yan kasi it's already 21st century but then it uh, for us christians you know, as we present the word of god it has its timeless messages para po sa ating lahat kaya nga po di ba yung word na bible it has a an, it is an acronym Ano po yung acronym na That's its meaning. Diba? Bible is the basic instructions before leaving earth. Before we die, before we leave this earth, we have to know the basic instructions. What are those basic instructions? We should open our Bible and we should live by it. Okay? So, yun po yung uh, right equipment. It's one of the right equipments no, na, ibibigay ko po, na binibigay ko po sa inyo. We must have the right equipment. And the first equipment that we should master is the Word of God. We should meditate on it day and night that we can observe to do everything that is written on it. Diba? So, kung nasa puso natin yun, then definitely hindi po tayo, uh, hindi po natin kailangan na, ah, wala akong dalang Bible so I don't uh, hindi ako makapagturo, hindi po ganun. Okay, why? Because we know the scriptures, we know it by heart, and definitely out of the abundance of the heart, our mouth will speak of scriptures. So, may kita niyo po yun, that definitely um, the right tool, okay, is the word of God. The right equipment. Just as a fisherman knows his fishing stuff, diba, ano yung bait na, ano yung pain na kanyang gagamitin, ano yung kind of, um, yung kind ng pamimingwit na gagawin niya and everything so definitely uh, yun po yung mga um, mga dapat i-consider natin ano pong sabi ng uh, ano pong sabi ng Biblia di ba ano sabi ni Apostle Paul kay Timothy sabi niya di ba to handle the word of truth correctly handling the word of truth dividing it correctly okay and also teaching it to also to faithful men also Okay, so that's the right equipment. So number three, mga kapatid, number three. Okay, the third point would be in relation sa ating pong pinag-uusapan ngayon, no? We must know that it will cost you everything. Now, uh, I will be um, I will be diving into this one. Maybe just a little, no? Na medyo magtatagal tayo dito. So we must know that it will cost you everything. So ano po bang pag sinabi natin it will cost you everything? Don't you um don't you uh notice no na sa pag sa pag um sa pag uh, sabi po ni Jesus Christ na inunyan niya po yung word na do not be afraid as Jesus Christ has called Peter Jesus mentioned first yung ano po do not be afraid Una niya pong minention, una niya pong sinabi yung word na do not be afraid. Why? Siyempre magtataka tayo, bakit kaya do not be afraid yung unang sinabi ng Panginoon? Because Jesus knows that it will be a rough road ahead of him. And to think about following Jesus, diba po, that it will cost you everything. Kaya, sinab, kaya napakahalaga po yung promise ng Panginoon. Yung assurance Panginoon, ng Panginoon kaagad na do not be afraid. Huwag kang matakot. At ano po yung nangyari doon? 
you see in the last verse, ano pong sabi? Ang sabi doon? They left everything and followed Jesus. Okay? Basahin natin in Luke chapter 14 verse 25 to 27. Jesus said, okay? Jesus said in this verse, uh, um, as Jesus have mentioned this, a large crowd was following Jesus. He turned around and said to them, Okay, and he turned around and said to them, ano pong sabi niya? This is one of the best guidelines when it comes to being a disciple of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you want to be my disciple, sabi niya ganun, you must, by comparison, hate everyone else. Your father, your mother, your wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, even your own life. Otherwise, you cannot be my disciple. And if you do not carry your own cross and follow me, you cannot be my disciple. Every one of us asks na, uh, tinanggap ko naman si Jesus eh. Di, na, di, may discipleship kami sa church eh. Okay? Pero po, mga kapatid, we have to understand that being a true disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ will cost us everything. Okay? Bakit po? Ayan, si Jesus na mismo yung nagsabi, if you want to be my disciple, kung gusto niyo maging tagasunod ko, you must hate everyone else. Your father, your mother, your wife, your children, your brothers and sisters, and even your own life. Otherwise, you cannot be my disciple if you, care, if you do not carry your own cross and follow me. What does the cross represent? The cross represents what? The hardness of life, problems, suffering, pain, persecution. That's what the cross is all about. Kaya sabi ni Jesus Christ, take up your own cross and follow me. Kaya minsan po, di ba, uh, makikita natin yung iba, they are taking up yung, yung cross, di ba? But the cross means sin, suffering, pain, persecutions, and everything na nagpapahirap po sa atin. At ito po ay yung, ito po yung, ginagawa, bin, pinapasa natin sa ating mga shoulders and we follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Because following the Lord Jesus Christ is not easy. Bakit po? Being as a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ will cost us time. Diba? Na, um, it will cost us comfort. Diba? Na, na imbis na magpapahinga tayo every Saturday and Sunday. No, you have to go to church. You have to be with the church. You have to do this. You have to do that. It will cost us energy. Why? Nakakapagod po ang magsilbi sa Panginoon. We have to be, whether we like it or not, our physical body can take up so much. Diba? Na kailangan din natin magpahinga. But, from, diba, from Monday, uh, up, from Monday up until Friday, diba, we are, we are, um, we are working, we are doing the things na kailangan natin para po tayo ang mabuhay. And then afterwards, on Saturday and Sunday, ano pong ginagawa natin? We should be in the presence of our Lord. It will cost us money. Why? Kasi po, whenever we disciple other people, kailangan mag-invest tayo sa kanila. Pakainin natin sila, bigyan natin sila ng ganito, di ba? Yung mga tax and everything, let's give them Bibles. It will cost us everything. And yes, even our own life. Alam nyo po, bilang tagasunod ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo, you have to deny yourself. What do we mean by denying ourselves? It means to say, that hindi na ikaw yung nabubuhay. Ang nabubuhay na isi Kristo through you. So, everything that the Lord Jesus Christ wants, you have to do it. Hindi po yung wants mo, kundi yung wants ni Jesus. If Jesus, this does Jesus wants this, every time po na may gagawin tayo, ang tanong na po natin is, gusto ko ba? Hindi, ang tanong po natin is, hindi, uh, gusto ko ba to? Hindi yun, hindi yung, hindi yung tanong na yun. Ang tanong po natin is that, does Jesus wants this? That Jesus approve of this. That Jesus will be uh, will be doing this. What if, uh, ano ba sinasabi ng badal na kasulatan dito? Just as Peter left everything for the Lord Jesus Christ. Alam niyo po si Peter, ang tanging kabuhayan po nila is pangingisda. Pero po, anong ginawa ni Peter? Ang ginawa po ni Peter is that he left everything. Diba? Iniwanan niya yung kanyang pangingisda and he followed Jesus Christ. Diba, isipin nyo na lang si Jesus Christ dumating doon, he was just teaching and then suddenly after that, they followed. Diba po, no? 
So what what does it uh, what does it mean? Okay? So meaning to say mga kapatid that when Jesus when Peter left everything for the Lord Jesus Christ, Peter knows po, no? Peter knows that it will cost him everything, even his life. Remember the death of Peter, the death of the apostles. Si Peter po is um he was crucified as per historical um historical um, fact no na si Peter po is he was crucified upside down and the other disciples has um has a brutal death sa Panginoon dahil because of the name of our Lord Jesus Christ because of the great commission because of this because of being a disciple so mga kapatid I want you to understand this that fishing for people is not as easy as you think it is. Fishing for, for people will take us time, will cost us energy, it will cost us money, it will cost us everything, even your comfort. So I want you to understand this today, my dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate yung resurrection ng ating Panginoon. I want you to think of it. Hindi lang yung victory na meron sa Panginoon, kundi yung process of how it is so hard sa Panginoon. Diba? When, when He was walking with the cross, when He was there on the cross of Calvary hanging and shouting, Lord, Lord, why have you forsaken me? Yet He has shouted also that Father forgive them for they do not know what they do. That kind of thing. We should what? We should, we should think of it. And that led it to victory. So mga kapatid, again, we must know the Great Commission. We must know the right equipment, which is the Word of God. And, we, and to know that it will cost us everything to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. So in conclusion, my dear brothers and sisters, as a disciple who will be fishing for people, we must know the Great Commission. Learn it. Keep it in your heart. We must know the right equipment. Handle the word of truth. Dividing it correctly. And teaching it also to other people. And, to, and must be ready. And we must be ready to leave everything behind. For the Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes your family will will persecute you. Sometimes it's your loved ones. Sometimes other people. But hang on to that faith. Being a disciple is not easy. But it will be worth it in the end. When we see Jesus Christ face to face. Let us all pray. Father. We thank you O Lord for today. We thank you for the cross. We thank you for your love for us, Panginoon. We thank you, Panginoon, dahil patuloy o Diyos na ikaw po ay gumagawa sa aming kalagitnaan, Lord. Lord, we thank you because you are good and you are God. We thank you, Lord, for the victory that you have given us. Thank you for redeeming mankind. Thank you, Lord, for this promise, Panginoon, that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Lord, salamat sa pagpapaalala niyo po sa amin that discipleship that being a disciple is not just something that we need to take lightly, Panginoon, but we need to take up our cross and follow you. And Lord, sa lahat po na nakikinig ngayon, ingatan niyo po si Lord Diyos, ipaalala sa kanila ang iyong mga salita. Lord, keep them in your love. Keep them, Panginoon, burning in their faith, O God. Thank you, Lord, for them. Thank you, Lord, for this reminder. That it will cost us everything to follow you. And Lord, help us to be ready, Panginoon, just as Peter is, to leave everything, to leave everything behind para po sa ikaga, ika, uh, ikagaganda ng iyo pong kingdom, Lord, at lalo na, Panginoon, sa ikaluluwalhati ng iyong pangalan. We thank you, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.